In this video, we will be diving into the world of home automation with the help of Homespan. Homespan is a powerful library that lets you create Apple HomeKit compatible accessories using an ESP32. Hey Siri, turn on my switch. Hey Siri, turn off my light. Let's start with the hardware. Here I have an ESP32 dev module. I can leave a link in the description for the one I got off of Amazon, but there's plenty of options. So the most important thing is just to make sure you understand your pinout and you have that up. I have an LED connected to pin 15 and ground. This is a 3.2 volt LED and I'm connecting it to 3.3 volts. It's in the range where I feel comfortable plugging it in without a resistor, but based on your LED, you may need a resistor for that. So we're gonna go ahead and start with just turning on and off an LED, and then next we will use a relay as a switch to turn on and off. So let's jump in the firmware. So open a new Arduino project, and if this is your first time running ESP32s, you will actually need this board manager URL pasted inside of the preferences. I can leave this in the description. The next thing we're gonna do is we need to install the right libraries. So the only one we really need is the home span library by Greg. So what makes Homespan so cool is it's simple to use and allows you to build complex custom home accessories. Uh, each Homespan accessory can have multiple services and have multiple characteristics. So you can have a light bulb, um, you can change the brightness, the color, and in our case we will have a light as well as a switch running on one device. Also check out the docs at some point. The docs are great. These are some of the best docs I've seen. So in this example, I'm not going to go over every line of code, but I'll go over the general code. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to import Homespan and we're going to create a new file and we will call that led.h and we're also going to import this file. We will then add serial.begin. Next we will add a pairing code and when we connect to our iPhone, we'll need to set this up. So we'll do homespan.set pairing code and in this case it needs to be eight um, numbers we'll do one 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 two two three 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 we'll go with that for right now and then we will do home span dot begin we're gonna put our category as lighting and if you actually look at the docs there are tons of different categories you can add here but in our case, oops, in our case, we will do lighting. And we can call this my home LED. All right, here we're gonna paste, we're gonna add a new accessory and we're going to jump in to our LED file here. So I'm gonna actually just call this LED. So now we're gonna reference in here and this is basically saying we're going to put this LED on pin 15. Is what, and that's what we did when we set it up. I'll paste this and then we can kind of go over it. So here we have a class and we called it LED. So we have our variable LED pin and here we are passing in LED pin from over here. So that's pin 15. So if you want it on pin 18, whatever it is, you can change it here. Next we have our constructor here and we're creating a new characteristic and we are setting this to power. So here this is basically gonna allow us to turn on and off the power by affecting the LED pin. So inside of this Boolean update, we have the digital write, which is from the Arduino library, which will change the state of the LED pin and update it. We can now run homespan.home, and that should be good. I just noticed a mistake there. I didn't have parentheses there. Now let's click upload. Let's now connect to the light. We'll hit add accessory. We'll hit more options. My home LED, add anyways, the password was 11122333. We'll hit continue. It'll connect. We'll put this as our, let's do kitchen. Um, I'll just call it LED. And there we go. So now if I click this, we have our LED turning on and off. If I say, hey Siri, turn on my LED. Hey Siri, turn off my LED. Perfect. Let's now get this switch connected as well. 
So with the relay, you're gonna typically have two sides. On this side, this will connect to our ESP32, and this will connect to any sort of, like a decent amount of voltage. So in this case, I have 10 amps at 250 volts AC or 10 amps at 30 volts DC. So we're gonna plug into this side, and this is our positive. This is a 5.5 volt relay. You can get a 3.3, um, I believe you can get like a 12, a 24, there's quite a bit. So then we'll take this middle one, we'll plug this into ground, and then this one will go into pin 17. On this other side, we have three screw locks here, and depending on how you hook this up, you can actually have it inverted to whether this is on or off. So if this is on, this could be off, or you can have this be on and this is on. So depending on which model you have, you can go look that up in, in the schematics, but it's pretty simple to get this side connected. All right, back to the firmware. To get the switch connected is now almost the same thing. We're gonna add a new file called dev relay .h. and inside of this it will be very very similar as the last one okay so now we'll go back to our main file and we're just going to add a new accessory we can add that here so here we're adding a new accessory and we are and we are sending the data to dev relay now another thing we're going to change right here is the category instead of lighting we're going to change it to bridges Let's add the functionality to scan a QR code. So here we'll do home span set QR ID. And here we will have our eight numbers. We do need to have them spaced like this. So one, two, three, and then we'll have a dash two, two, dash three, 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 three. In order to use the QR code, we actually need the HomeKit accessory simulator. It's an add-on for Xcode. So you will need Xcode for this. Um, but once you get Xcode downloaded, you can download this accessory simulator and once you open that it should look like and follow this documentation on how to install it it's fairly easy once you get that it should look like this and here we can put in whatever whatever codes we want um, but right here on category there's different different things we can add so I can do bridge here select bridge and I will put in that code one 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 two two three 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 and I'll hit enter so now when you scan this, this will do the connection to your iPhone. All right, this is looking really good. Oh, I notice I didn't import that and we don't need that. Okay, let's go ahead and upload this to our device and test it out. Let's now connect to our ESP32. We'll hit add accessory. We can't use this camera for the QR code because it's not a verified device, but we're gonna click more options. We see our home span bridge here, we'll click that. I'm going to hit add anyways, and then here we can hit use camera. And then with our camera, we can scan our QR code. It says connecting to bridge. I will do a bedroom. I will call this light. And then for the second one, I'll also do bedroom. I'll call this switch. And now. We can turn on and off our light. And oops, turn on and off our switch. I can say, hey Siri, turn on my switch. Hey Siri, turn on my light. All right, there you have it. That's Homespan with an ESP32. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And be sure to comment for videos you'd like to see.